Hi, I'm Andrew Trendle. You're watching Enemy, and we're here with the legendary Jenny Lewis. Thanks for the intro. Hello. That was a pretty good intro. That was <laughs> really nice. How are you, Jenny? I'm well. I, I feel like we're uh, in a spaceship. Yeah, are we? Like we're in a kind of non-reality, frozen in time. Welcome. We're, we're in a pupil. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's been five years since we last heard from you with the Voyager. It's a long time. Yeah, people love pointing out how long it's been. <laughs> it's like, okay, five years. I did start a band in New York City mm -hmm. with my two friends called uh, Nice as Fuck. Nice as Fuck. Yeah, so that was in the middle. So two and a half years. Mm. You've never made the same record twice. How would you describe Has anyone? <laughs> so some people make a very good living out of that. Some people <laughs> have made the same movie twice, like a remake. Like Psycho yeah, yeah. was made twice for no good reason at all. It was yeah, I mean, not I'm a not, great idea. I'm not a fan of remake culture. It's just no. having, having an original idea. It's like, hi, I'm gonna, let's remake OK Computer. Like, why would, why no would thanks. you? No thanks. Yeah, it's fine. It's stone cold classic, the original. It exists. That's We're all good. We need. So, where was I? You never made the same record twice. Um, how would you describe kind of the character and the spirit of On the Line and what sets it apart from your other work? On the Line is a chapter, I think, in the whole story. Um, but it is a story in itself mm. that begins with a breakup and ends with a kind of rebirth and all the stuff that happens in between. And the, the records in uh, near chronological order. Mm. Cool. I mean, there's some brilliant lyrics on the record, like um, from Heads Will Roll. We disagreed on everything from Elliot Smith to uh, Grenadine? Yes. Grenadine. Um, who would disagree with you on Elliot Smith? Like... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're telling me. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I like the way those words sound together. Sometimes I'll just have two words that I want to team up. I mean, how, how do you feel about fans kind of... You have a very ded dedicated kind of fan. It's one of the better words. I mean, how do you feel about fans kind of trying to like crack the code and like get to know Jenny Lewis? I think it's nice that some people want to know, but ultimately, I don't think they really want to know. Mm. You don't want to know, and it. Do I hope it doesn't matter, and people realize that there is uh, poetry involved as well. Mm. Uh, well, on the flip side of like what fans might expect of you, do you think there's any kind of like greatly held? misconception about Jenny Lewis. Is there anything you keep seeing or reading about yourself where you're like, where, where, is, where did this come from? No, it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly. It's all true. It's all true. <laughs> uh, and, um, so. It doesn't matter. It, does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because I know, you know, you, ha you have the songs. Those are for everybody. Yeah. And the details of my life are for me to kind of, you know, uh, be in control of. Mm. And sometimes I share stuff about my personal life and then I always regret it. Mm. I just op up, open up the can of worms and then realize you can't put the worms back in the can. There, it's just all right there. Mm. It's like a phone is like um, reading someone's mind. Yeah. And it's just sitting on the table in the next room and it's so tempting. Mm. Right? Yeah. You could like read someone's mind. It's all right there. We're cyborgs. Yeah. Well, the singularity is on the way. I think it's by 2045, the singularity, where we combine with technology. That's scary. But you're not into sci-fi, right? I'm into murder. Murder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not committing it. <laughs> I've, n I've never, oh my God, killed anyone. Not knowingly. No, I've not. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Before the camera started rolling, we found out that Jenny's never seen Star Wars. No, but I know what Yoda looks like, mm. and he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone's going to buy you a box set, it should be a murder mystery box set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or like a podcast murder themed. Oh, cool. What, po what podcast are you into? I'm a, a Howard Stern uh, super fan, mm. which is more of a radio show. Yeah. Uh, but I'm blanking on podcasts right now. Yeah. What's the crazy one about the guy in the South? The best one of all. S-Town. S-Town. <laughs> wow. 
best one of all, I think. Have, did you listen to S-Town? No, 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 I'm, I'm really bad at podcasts. Oh, though, you, really ah, check that one out, it's amazing. Yeah, awesome. If they, we get a fancy, if we were, had sponsors, this is where I point to the corner and a link would appear. Well, if this were a <laughs> podcast, you would like cut away to like a weird commercial, yeah. like uh, maybe, like cookies, <laughs> gluten-free cookies delivered straight to your door. Yeah. On the Line by Jenny Lewis is out on the 22nd of March on Warner Brothers Record. Sponsored by Gluten-Free Cookies. <laughs> Who would sponsor you if you would allow that? Uh, you know, I was thinking about this today. <laughs> um, Who would you sell out for? <laughs> I would sell out for a plant. Favorite plant? Um, well, I'll tell you what my second favorite herb is. Okay. Dill. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Line, brought to you by Dill, out on March 22nd has a pretty amazing, well, some great guests on there, the backing band. I mean, what, what do you look for in a collaborator? Uh, someone who knows more than I do mm. about stuff. And, um, like, how did you approach asking Ringo Starr? I mean, is that a head fuck being like, <gasps> how do you, like, how did that conversation go? <laughs> well, I didn't have that conversation. Right. Uh, and I don't know exactly what happened, but it was uh, a rock and roll dream. Is it everything you wanted, like when he's there? <laughs> well, I didn't even put my, I don't think that far ahead. So I didn't even let myself go there until it happened because it seemed like it wasn't even, how could it possibly happen? Mm. But in the moment, very relaxed recording session, like energetic, but like very just musical and very I felt very comfortable playing with him yeah is he as like all about peace and love as his public persona suggests or is he actually like a horrible Nazi <laughs> <laughs> no there's a peace and love vibe but yeah. I also have a peace and love vibe yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah very easy easy going so and you've worked with Beck a few times what, what do you think he brings to the table Beck is uh, extremely thorough <laughs> and I don't have to worry that he hasn't thought of it already because mm. he thinks of everything and he's a very he's very meticulous but also very vibey and he's just really musical in a way that I'm not I'm not like a music theory you know like I know the chords I'm playing but I don't like move around music in that same way. Yeah. And so he really knows his shit, but is not like, doesn't force it on you. Mm. <laughs> He's like, I imagine him to have like quite a robotic brain. Like in terms of, you know, music theory. Yeah, I don't know what it's like in there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like this. But it's like, yeah, it's very like a clean. Yeah, welcome to Beck's brain. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like in Elon Musk's brain? Oh Christ. But is it cluttered <laughs> or is it like, you know, is it, you does know, it look clean? I bet it you, looks clean like this. Do you remember how all music videos in the early noughties had this kind of like liquid chrome look? Oh yeah. Everyone was like floating around in this kind of weird liquid. Early CGI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I imagine it's like that. Wow. Liquid yeah. chrome. We should get the Elon green, Musk story. Yeah. We should get a green screen and that, as we can do, this can be cues to just kick off like Just that. the... Yeah. Yeah, what they don't use that effect anymore. They really should. Yeah. That was like around the time that that matrix effect, remember when that was like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are writing this down. This is good music Three, for us, though. <laughs> three, 360. Yeah. Another person on the album is Ryan Adams and you released a statement regarding the allegations there, so we don't need to revisit that again. But should ask how much you wrestled with the idea of releasing a record that featured his contributions? I mean, it's a tough situation and I felt a lot of things. And um, yeah, it certainly has been on my mind, but ultimately it's my record and they're my songs and it's a piece of the puzzle of my entire career. Mm. You know, it sucks, man, it's so, it's really upsetting. Mm. But I do think that a conversation is occurring and a dialogue about um, power dynamics in music. I think it's positive that we're having a dialogue. Mm. 
Amen. Yeah. So let's have the dialogue openly and um, figure out a solution mm. and identify what isn't cool. Mm. Cool. I just need to think of my next segue now. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Yoda. We've just found this beautiful drawing. Again, we were talking about predicting the future earlier. Someone knew you were coming. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is my outfit here. And uh, isn't he cute? Mm. We were suggesting that this could be like a spinal tap style stage design. And this was supposed to be three meters tall, but it turned out to be three inches, which is pretty cool. Anyway. Would, would you go for the Britney Spears headset? I think that's what that is. Uh, of course, <laughs> if I could afford one. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can we expect from um, <clears throat> your upcoming live shows? I mean, I was watching, um, what was it called? On the, on the Line online, and they were suggesting that Daffy Duck could be joining you on tour. Is that going to happen? Yeah, that came up with the label, unfortunately. And we're trying to figure out how to incorporate Looney Tunes into the show in kind of like a Bez context. Yeah, yeah. Like someone who just kind of like... Yeah. But then I can get my tour support to come over here because it's really expensive to be on a tour bus. Yeah. So we're going to have to like get Daffy some uh, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, that's probably his drug of choice. <laughs> I mean, well, they're owned by Warner Brothers, right? So it shouldn't be that difficult. Well, yeah, and I'm a, uh, on Warner Brothers. Mm. I'm an artist. So, yeah, they're co-branding the Looney Tunes characters with a musical artist on <laughs> Warner Brothers. Well, it's like, on the line online was, if you haven't seen it, I mean, if you, for those who haven't seen it, how would you describe the experience of that? Chaos, goodwill. Laughs galore. And Jeff Goldblum, man. Jeff. <laughs> Base Circle. Jason Schwartzman. Je Jason Schwartzman is an underrated comedic presence. Uh, he's so funny. Mm. Um, what else happened? Oh, wrestling match. Magic. Do you believe in magic? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you should take that on tour, like a touring roadshow of just mad people. I'd watch that. <laughs> I would imagine they're all pretty high maintenance on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Daffy Duck, who just needs some Mandy and he's fine. <laughs> well, Daffy, you know, I feel like we kind of hit it off a little bit. Like, after the show, it's kind of like, Daffy, like, DM me. And I mean, after you've got some headline shows coming up, I mean, are we going to see festivals this summer as well? I hope not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just We're just saying no, that. I'm the, just kidding. The, it's actually really inconvenient to wear a play suit. Though. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would, I, uh, Latitude. So lat Latitude is like the biggie in the UK this summer then? I just, they just point me and they're like, go get them, tiger. <laughs> I'm like, ah. And then? Um, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I have to ask is. Uh oh, Jesus. Here we go. Here it comes. Headline moment. Menopause, this yay or nay? Discuss. <laughs> Menopause, yeah? Menopause. Go on. <laughs> <I'll> Sorry. <laughs> you don't want to hear about that. No. This is a kid's show. <laughs> um, menopause aside, this year is, I don't know if you're aware of this or if you think about it, it's the um, 20, 20 year anniversary of Rilo Kylie's debut. Wow. Would, would, are you into the kind of anniversary nostalgia tour thing? Would you do that? Or are you all about looking forward? Sure. I did a postal service reunion tour a mm, couple of years that ago. Cool. That was really fun. Mm. So I'm open to anything these days. Mm. So never say never. My mantra is yes. Just yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is an amazing note to end on. Jenny Lewis, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank nice you. chat.